Chapter 1, Creating a Foundation of Love and Support. In a cozy little town, there lived a loving family. Mr. and Mrs. Johnson were wonderful parents who always showed immense love, support, and affection for their two children, Lily and Ethan. They believed that creating a strong foundation of love and support was crucial for their children's well-being and happiness. Every day, the Johnsons made it a point to express their love for each other and their children. Hugs, kisses, and warm words filled their household, creating an environment where love flowed freely. Lily and Ethan always felt safe and secure because their parents' love was unwavering. Not only did Mr. and Mrs. Johnson show their love through physical affection, but they also encouraged their little ones to chase their dreams. When Lily expressed her interest in painting, her parents enrolled her in art classes and praised her creativity. Ethan, on the other hand, loved playing soccer, so his parents cheered for him at every game, standing proudly on the sidelines. The Johnsons' unwavering presence in their children's lives was another testament to their love and support. They actively listened to Lily and Ethan engaging in conversations about their day, their dreams, and their fears. Mr. Johnson would often read bedtime stories, while Mrs. Johnson would tuck them in, showering them with goodnight kisses. The impact of this loving environment was remarkable. Lily and Ethan grew up to be confident, compassionate, and resilient children. They knew that no matter what challenges they faced, their parents would always be there to support them. One sunny day, while Lily and Ethan were playing in their backyard, they noticed their parents planting flowers in the garden. The children rushed over, eager to help. Mr. and Mrs. Johnson explained that just like flowers needed a strong foundation of soil, sunlight, and water to grow, their family thrived on the foundation of love, support, and encouragement they provided. As the years went by, this foundation became the driving force in the children's lives. Lily blossomed into a talented artist, and Ethan became a star soccer player. They tackled obstacles and celebrated successes, knowing they had their parents' unwavering support. The Johnsons were immensely proud of their children's achievements, but what made them prouder was seeing the kind, loving, and supportive individuals Lily and Ethan had become. They knew that their efforts in creating a foundation of love and support had paid off. In conclusion, love, support, affection, encouragement, and presence played crucial roles in the Johnson family's life. By creating a nurturing environment, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson provided Lily and Ethan with the foundation they needed to thrive. The story of their family serves as a reminder that with love and support, children can flourish and become the best versions of themselves. Remember, love and encouragement are like water and sunlight for our growth. Question. How can parents create a loving and supportive environment for their children? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2. Building Effective Communication Skills In this chapter, we will learn about the importance of communication in building effective relationships between parents and children. Communication is a way of expressing our thoughts, feelings, and ideas to others. It helps us understand and resolve conflicts, making our relationships stronger. Imagine a family dinner where everyone is talking but no one is really listening. Sarah's parents are discussing their day at work, and her little brother, Max, is excitedly telling the joke. Sarah feels left out and frustrated because nobody seems interested in what she wants to say. This lack of communication can lead to misunderstandings and strained relationships within the family. To build effective communication skills, it is essential to listen attentively to each other. When Sarah's parents take the time to listen to her concerns, she feels valued and understood. This simple act of listening makes Sarah more open to discussing her feelings and ideas with her parents. Another important aspect of effective communication is expressing ourselves respectfully. 
Sarah's parents teach her that it is okay to disagree, but to do so in a calm and respectful manner. This way, conflicts can be resolved without hurting each other's feelings. For example, when Sarah and Max are fighting over a toy, their parents encourage them to use words rather than fists to express their thoughts and find a solution that is fair for both of them. Additionally, building effective communication skills involves being aware of nonverbal cues. Sarah's parents help her understand that facial expressions, body language, and tone of voice can convey feelings and emotions. By paying attention to these nonverbal cues, Sarah can better understand how her family members are feeling and respond accordingly. Communication also plays a vital role in strengthening the bond between parents and children. Sarah's parents make it a point to have family time every day where they engage in open conversations, share their experiences, and actively listen to each other. These shared moments create a sense of belonging and trust within the family. In conclusion, communication is crucial in building effective relationships between parents and children. It is important to listen attentively, express ourselves respectfully, and be aware of nonverbal cues. By practicing these skills, families can understand and resolve conflicts, making their relationships stronger. So, the next time you sit down for a family dinner or have a conversation with your parents, Remember the power of communication and the positive impact it can have on your family life. Question. Why is effective communication important between parents and children? Check the video description for the answer.